Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to show you the best way to save contacts on your Android device. The steps that I'm going to share in this video will help you keep your contacts synced across all your devices and you will be able to backup and access your contacts on the web if you don't have your phone next to you. Now, this will only work if you have signed in in all your devices with the same email address. Without further ado, let me show you how to do it. For this tutorial, I'll be using Samsung Galaxy Note 4, but you can follow the steps on any Android device, which will be the same. The first thing you have to do is open your contacts app. In my case, it's this one here. I'm gonna click here to open it. And you can see here under contacts that I have no contacts on my list. So if you want to add a new contact, to your contact list what you have to do is come here to this plus sign here and click there and then this is where the trick happens so right here at the top what you have to do is for example in my case i have here at the top uh, below console and save i have google and i have my personal email address in your case if you don't have your email address your case might be my you might have like a SIM card or you might have like device. In my case, I have my Gmail account, which is the Gmail account I have signed in in this device. This is not only this is not the only Gmail account that I have. You can see here that I have two Gmail accounts on this phone. So in your case, if you have more than one Gmail account, what you have to do is decide which one you're going to use to save your contacts. In this case, I'm going to use this one, which is my personal Gmail account. So what you have to do is the first thing, for example, if you don't have these options is sign in in your device with the Gmail account you want to use uh, for saving your contacts. If for some reason you don't have your Gmail account on the phone, what you have to do is come here to settings. Okay and then scroll down until you find accounts here. Click on accounts and you will see that here I have many accounts. I have my Facebook account, I have my Google account, I have Skype, I have WhatsApp account. So what you have to do, for example, is click on add account and on this list, select Google and right here on this window, I'm not going to show you, it will take uh, quite some time. Uh, but here you have to sign in with you with your Gmail account and click next and follow the steps to sign in your account in this on your phone in this case I'm not going to do I'm just was I was just showing you how to do it and then you go back to your accounts and After finish that if you for some reason see SIM card or device What you have to do is click on this arrow and then select Google then that's the way you do to save your contacts. Then what you have to do is, for example, give the name, for example, AAAA, and then put the phone number. Uh, let's try something, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is the phone number. And if you want to add an email account to this person, you have email account of this person, just click here. And then you write down here the email account. If you, for some reason, something happens, uh, you decided you don't want to add the email account just click on this minus and you will remove that email if you want to add more fields for example uh, let's say birthday of the person what you have to do is come here where you have add another field click there let's say what you want to add um, you want to add the birthday here on events click there and then click OK and then you have events okay what you want to do uh, it's a birthday or yes click there select the date just give any date and then click set and yeah okay you have the date here you have uh, the birthday you have birthday anniversary other custom so in this case we are saving the birthday once you finish click on save your contact is saved if we go back i just click back 
or in this case if you come back to the contact and you open your contact slate you will see that here you have the contact that you already saved in this case the AAA and you click there you have the phone number and you have down here the birthday if for example you want to change or add something else click on this pencil right here at the top it will take you back to this window so for example you want to add this person to a group you click here and you have a bunch of groups i have a bunch of groups here i can say this is part of my family or for example if you want to create a new group click here at the top and give a name let's say test group click ok you will have the test group down here so in this case this person is part of my contacts belongs to my family and belongs to a test group for example if you want to remove just remove from family keep it this person on test and then click save and you see down here at the, at the bottom at the groups that this person is in your contacts and belongs to a test group and you also have the option down here at the bottom ringtone to change the ringtone if you want to specify the ringtone for this person for example it's your partner your spouse you want to give this person a different sound so you know that your spouse is calling you just click here and to manage let's click on this media storage okay so you have a bunch of songs here you can select any one of these ones okay and then click ok and you are done once you finish with the changes click on save and there you go right here you have when you click on the person for example you come back here when you click on the person's contact you have everything that you've changed right here for you to see well guys that's all for today if this video was helpful like it and share it don't forget subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon so you get a notification every time i upload a new video i'll see you in the next one